for an extra year, <clears throat> just because he's a lot more fatigued than most horses. Um, so that's why he's four and, and getting his first days. Um, and this winter, we had really no agenda and no um, thoughts of hopping on him, putting his first ride, paddling, those sort of things this winter. Uh, we wanted to save that for the spring. So here we are with the intention now of having some sort of an agenda um, and use for this horse and really ch challenging him a little bit more, but still constructively. So things are a little bit more the real deal this time. So if anyone didn't get a chance to tune in this winter, this is kind of where we're at right now. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. And, and uh, we don't want to overwork him meaninglessly. Uh, we don't, or uh, you know, without without meaning, we want to, you know, not create an animal that is uh, like us humans that get stuck in a in a cubicle doing the same thing, you know, minute after minute. They they're not meant to do that. I don't think we are either, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, working them with with meaningful tasks and some good learning opportunity, uh, it has to be repetitive, but. You can overdo that and spoil that horse and make them so uh, confined mentally that they don't want to work for you. They, they will work in spite of you, and uh, you'll create a uh, relationship that is not positive and it is not uh, trusting. It is it's adversarial, and that's, oh, nice stop. Very good stop. Um, and your, your, your movement is much more subtle, Taryn. Very good. Oh, good job. You're pushing that shoulder around. You're putting your... What, what, you're watching Karen do is she is controlling the direction the horse is going. She's controlling the speed in which he's going. She's controlling when he turns, whether he turns towards her, whether he turns away from her. And uh, she is controlling everything. And you watch the horse's movement. It is much, much better than uh, than her movement. It's, it's much more controlled. She is the one who is is absolutely in control and uh, with a lot more subtlety than the horse had, and that's what that's what we really want. She just just pivots on a foot, and she can stop him on a dime. She can turn whatever she wants to do. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, it looks like Celia's online. Hi, Celia. Glad you're here with us. All right, now. What we're going to start doing is uh, we'll just work in today just, just exactly like this. We'll really get a good uh, baseline of what he's retained, what you've done with him to uh, get him to bond with you, and then watch how that affects his, his uh, uh, response to you. And so what I want to do after we do this is we'll push him just like you're doing. We may up a little bit and then just – just out of the blue, stop him. And mentally, remember, this is about you controlling the horse. So you have to make sure that you are meaningful in what you want to do. And Oh, good. Very good. Now, see how you move to the side. When you stopped him, just hold on right here. When you stopped him, you moved to the stop. Didn't release the pressure. You, you pinched him off. Okay. So, so when you do that, when you say, whoa, give him a good whoa and step straight back when you do it. There, good job of pushing him against the rail. And again, we're about 12 seconds behind on my video, or yeah, my video. So everybody else is going to see what, what you saw in real time or is in the past. I need to be a little more cognizant um, when he's moving to not just cut him off, but give him a chance to respond to me. That's correct. That's correct. And if And if he doesn't stop for you, you may have to take more steps back. Now, it's going to be much easier for him to stop or easier for you to make him stop when he's going at higher speed because things are happening so much faster and he can put the pressure on himself quicker. If you were to take three steps back, he's going to put that pressure on to make himself stop. Oh. My boy. My boy. I see him look at you and he was chewing and licking. Yeah, he's really coming along. This winter, I had a really hard time getting him to listen to my voice. Um, we had to up the pressure quite a bit one of our last sessions just to get him to stop and, and listen to my voice. 
his things are very responsive. So. Well, and one of the things we want to make sure the difference, and, and when I say step back instead of pinch him off, it's a it's a matter of him watching you, and it's a, it's a about being much more subtle in his sure. response to your subtle cue. And so you want him to at, at at one point you really want him to be responsive to your voice and not even your body. Mm-hmm. So you're when you when you step in front of him to pinch him off, you're physically pushing him. When you step away, he physically puts the pressure on himself. And then when you're just using your voice, and you get to the point where he listens because your voice is, is commanding and you're not using your body, that's when you know that you mentally he is connected to you and he's absolutely listening and not just watching. And that's a, that's a big jump in uh, the difference in, in the controllability. And that's really what it's about, is controlling your horse. Ooh. Good boy. I'm having quite a delay here. I don't know how much more we have because my my picture keeps updating. So, <laughs> okay, good. I I see you stop. Yeah, you're turning me off here. There. Okay. You sound fantastic. Oh. Karen, let's let's have him. Let's speed him up quite a bit. Let's really get him going around the corral about. About four or five times. You want enough timing uh, of him doing the same thing, uh, and it won't take long. Four or five times around that around that corral, but he's ready to stop. And he may he may give you a an indication by looking at you uh, by by doing a half of a stutter step, but push him through that. Make him go beyond that if he gives you that sign for you know a half a round, and then ask for a really good stop by by saying whoa and stepping back. Okay. And remember, give, give the verbal cue first so that that's the first thing that you want him to respond to. And if he doesn't, then you're you're uh, supporting that with that physical movement away from him, not pinching him off, but straight away. And it's going to be hard for you because I, I keep seeing you step to the side. Even though mentally I know you're wanting to step back, <laughs> square your shoulders to him and step straight back away. This is the, this is the difference between someone who can really control their horse and those that are, are having to... Uh, struggle with pinching them off or, or, or forcing them to stop physically. Ooh. Good boy. I caught myself there. <laughs> okay. So I'm really, I think I'm quite, a, I, I'm quite a bit behind you, I think, because I haven't seen you speed him up at all. Quite a bit to do it. He's gonna try. I'm gonna let him go around a few times. Um, see if you can see that. Good boy. Good yeah, boy. I, I see. He's stopping. You're stopping him about every oh, about the middle of every panel. Or so, or every other panel, and there you now. You just you just started to make him take off. So I've we got quite a delay. Good delay. It might be that storm coming in you were talking about. It might be. I apologize, everybody, for that because it's that's going to be frustrating on your part. But okay, yeah, you're making him walk. Now, I'm I'm watching you more than I'm watching him. I want to see how your body communicates to him. You're asking him. You're doing great that way. You're very. You're standing right in the middle of that corral. Your, your shoulders are squared. Your, your chest is squared to his shoulder. There you go. He slowed down. You picked him up. Okay, that's good. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Now, what I saw you guys, what you did with him is, is you took about a half a step back. And, of course, the audio is way off right now for my video. So um, I, I'm sure that you're, you're saying, you know, verbally you're saying something first uh, before you physically move. And that is fantastic. If, what, if you did that, that was very, very good because he he stopped very, very short. So I've been I've been saying whoa, and then if he doesn't respond immediately, half a second later, I've been stopping. Good, um, that's perfect. But one thing we worked on this winter was repeating the verbal cue um, when I stepped back, and that's something I haven't done yet. Okay. Yeah, um. Yeah, that's really. If he, if you back up, if you stopped him, 
or ask him to stop, and then you backed up, and he stopped, are you are you saying whoa again? No. Okay. If you get a response out of him, if, if he asks, and you say whoa like you're doing now, and he does what you want, praise him for it. Don't don't uh, tell him whoa because what he's already done is he's already performed that. Now praise him for it and praise him well for it uh, verbally. You know, when I say, good girl, Taryn, good girl, it's all about the tone of your voice, yeah. right? Okay, and, and they, 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 they pick up on that, and they understand that. So if, they, if he starts to do what you want, and even if he doesn't do it very well, but he does it, say he stops and it takes a half a step because he's just learning, mm-hmm. praise him for that. Oh, that's a good stop right by the gate. He started to drop his hind end a little bit. That's good. Okay, now let's turn him the other way, and when you do, go ahead and have him just take right off at high speed when you do it, and then, and then just say, whoa, we're going to try to push your boundaries a little bit, because he's responding, but we need to make sure that you are giving him the right, or the, or the most subtle, the lightest, lightest control of command that we can get from you, and that is just stand in one place and say, whoa. Okay, without backing up. And if he, if he blows through it, then you'll step back one, okay? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's starting to blow through me. I can see... Okay. When I give him the verbal cues, he kind of hesitates, like he's thinking about it, but then he says, ah, nah, and he keeps going. Okay, and I'm, I'm starting to catch up. Uh, I'm going to, I want to watch this a little bit. Now, why, why, okay, I saw it. Now, why do you think that he didn't respond to you that time? Uh. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm trying to avoid stepping to the side and pinching him off. Um, okay. Yeah, but yes, that's right. And, and and the reason why he's not responding is because he's waiting to see you step to the side. Okay. And you didn't do it that time. So what he is doing, he is teaching you that he's not going to stop until you step to the side. Instead of you teaching him that when I say, whoa, you stop. Okay. See the difference? Yeah, I do. Okay, it's, it's a big leap. I mean, mentally for you, it is a like, oh my God, type moment. I, I understand how oh. what I'm doing is is reinforcing what he is expecting instead of changing it up a little bit and going, okay, when I, when I respond with my voice or when I ask him, he should respond to my voice, but he's not. And when he does, I praise him then. And you're, it's going to get more and more subtle. So let's, uh, let's try it again and uh, ask him to move quickly. And then with just a whoa, go ahead and stop him. I feel like we had a pretty decent one there. Like we're we're on our way. Okay, was that right by the gate? Uh no, it's opposite the gate. Okay. All right, I'm gonna catch up to you there here in a bit then. The one right by the gate, I didn't feel like went very well. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fine. That's good. Oh. Okay. I'm going to keep coming around. Good boy. Good. We're getting better. Okay. Did you move when you when he respond, when he you asked him to, to whoa, did you move at all? Uh, not at first. Then I had to take a step back, but I, I did step back this time. Okay. So you want to you wanna step back less and less and put more emphasis on the whoa. And if you have to really go, whoa, do it. Instead okay. of, you know, don't beg him. Tell him and say, whoa, be commanding about it. Reach down there and grab your inner Brandon and pull that up and make that voice travel. Okay. Okay, the other thing I see you doing, dear, is uh, when you want him to move, you're kind of you're 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 asking him at the same time you're telling him with your hand. So just point okay. first, and if he doesn't do it, then reinforce. Okay. Okay. 
because what you're doing is you're just kind of it looks like you're almost like a like a bird flapping his wings out of out of sync. That's better, much better. Now, when you do that, and he responds, now it's reduced the amount of of. Uh, okay, very good. I, I see you had to step back. He looked at you. He was chewing. Okay. So, so be more subtle about giving directions. Okay. So, when you put your hand up, at, at some point, what we're going to want you to do is put your hands at your side, and then just just with your hand and your finger, just point like you're like you're shoot, shooting from the hip with a pistol. Okay. So okay. that it's much less subtle, because that's what he's doing is he's listening to your voice or listening to you cluck, or I think you're clucking, aren't you, with him? Okay, so he hears that. It's about, it's, he's got extremely good hearing. Uh, I had a horse stop short with me this morning, and I mean, she looked ahead and there was nothing there. We, we walked up about another, oh, five, six paces, and here a bull had fallen down out of a bunch of brush. She had heard that, and I could. So I tell you how, you know, they're sensitive, they're very sensitive to their hearing, and, and you're hearing right there. I mean, it's, it's no big deal. He can hear you. So, Really capitalize on your voice. Make him listen to you oh. first. Day. Good boy. Very good. Very good. That was all my voice. I didn't even have to sit back. Good oh, job. Boy. Okay, now do you do you see the difference? Do you feel more in control when you do that? Yeah. I don't feel yeah. like I'm forcing him. That's right. This is the first time he's really stared me down and... He's licking and chewing, and he's really intent on me. Good boy. Okay. Now, why? Now, let, let me ask the obvious again. Why is that? Why is he more intense and, and watching you and more intent? I'm in his breath, forcing him physically. Okay. It, 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 part, partially, yes. You're not forcing him, but he's learning about, okay, that was something different that she responded and I got praise for. What was it? Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. So this is what this is what I mean. This is what this is what separates the very good trainers from the outstanding trainers. Okay, and you can be a very good trainer and do you know some of this work and put a lot of work into it, and the horse.